Oh, you know, I've, I've been meaning to. We need to figure out a way to modernize our our dialogue here on the podcast. I need to start using vibrant and impactful. Are we going to start using pronouns? More, more. What? People's pronouns when they're. I'm talking about these two words, oh, vibrant and impactful, because they're so impactful, impactful. <laughs> and vibrant. And vibrant. Yeah, I need to just throw these in whenever I can, because then it'll make us look like we're uh, modern. It definitely improves things. I think you know? all, all around. Yeah, for sure. Or we could start saying he or she. Yeah. Every time there's a no, it's they. No. A they. It's they. They, yeah. the plural, singular and plural. Because it might not be just. He I or just she, got a. I just got people keep turning these articles in to me, for the website, and they keep saying, talking about the client, and they. The client, my client, they. Yep. That's just. That's what we were all taught. Where does that all come from? That's what we were all taught. I was taught is that, that is in, that taught in school now? I was taught that in, for, there's no there's not no it's not taught now. That that's how it's been taught for a long time. That's how I learned it. That they <laughs> was the the what, general the, the, the whatever the when you don't mm-hmm. know if it's the a plural, plural when, you say they. When, they actually <laughs> address it from the gender standpoint. When you don't know if it's a he or she, it's they. It's they. It's they. Yeah. Yes. Wow. That's how I learned in it had to be middle school, I guess. Yeah. And then in high school it was the same thing. I didn't know that that was actually taught in school. <clears throat> and I had some good English teachers. Well, little old nuns that wanted you to use they at least they as a singular at least they pronoun. didn't correct it. At least they didn't correct it. Right. So Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, so it's before that, all this social justice bullshit and now it's just I'd uh, like to have been in that <clears throat> meeting. You know, meeting of the English department. All right, heads up, number no longer counts. Singular, plural. I, I don't know. So I got to go through and I got to look for the instances of the misuse of these things. And I get through with the edit. And then I got to go control F and I've got to find all the instances of they, them, their, and make sure they're correct. And the, in the deal and it's 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 a pain in the ass yeah. it's a pain in the ass but it oh and i never i never, never ends. i never gave a shit until now that uh they means a different thing and now it's uh, i'm i'm make very damn sure that i'm if if it's going to be one person it's going to be the right way to do it it's going to be he <clears throat> it's going to be he. Yeah. he is the default gender masculine is the default gender in the english language i'm sorry that's not my rule that's the rule. That's their rule. I guess. I just don't want to be mistaken. The, it's for his a, rule. I just don't want to be mistaken for an ally or some shit. Yeah, I don't want to be mistaken <laughs> for woke, for politically correct. For I want to be mistaken ally. for somebody that actually has an education in the use of the English language. So, this will show up. Comments from the yeah haters. And it'll be eventually down there on the floor with the rest of it. All right.